All right, everybody, welcome to the Studying Brew. It is episode triple eight. That's right, eight eighty eight. It is eight hundred and eighty eight episodes. Oh my goodness, we are getting close to nine hundred episodes. Then what? A thousand? Whoo! I didn't even know it was gonna last after three. So that's amazing. I mean, really, honestly, right? We thought for sure. We, we thought nobody would show up. That too. We were like, who, who, who's going to want to learn with us? Yeah. But you know what? It seems like we got something going on here. My name is Andy. I am the guy that runs the back office over here at Kona Butterflies. I take notes on the stickies and I send them over to the boss lady. That is who you're here for. Her name is Brandy. She's got her Series 6, 63, 26, 65, and her Series 7, which makes her more than qualified to teach you all the things you need to know so that way you too can get a pass notice. And oh my goodness, and if you're in Primerica... Uh, I mean, for I mean, we are uh, we are branched out to a lot of different firms. We've started off with Primerica, but uh, we now teach for all different firms now, which is awesome. But uh, I know that in Primerica, they are going to convention in July, Atlanta, Georgia. And a lot of you want to get all this done before then. You guys want to be able to uh, present yourselves as fully licensed securities licensed agents doing uh, doing all the right things doing all what's right for the the client right um and we got a lot of goals we got a lot a lot of goals and the goal that we get all the time is can i get this done yeah and how fast and how fast mm -hmm. we do have plans that are 21 day and you know most people are like well does it have to be done in 21 days sure it, it can be done in 21 days it can be a little longer it could be a little quicker we've had people pass in a week yeah literally go through our information pass in one week they're like, that's all I got. The kids have one week off for spring break. I'm going to knock it out. Did it, right? You could be like a, our homeboy Angel who literally got it done in 45 days. Yep. SIE through the 26. That's SIE 663 and 26. Four exams done. Or you could be like our homegirl Blandine. She got it done in 90 days. She got her SIE 663, 26 and her series 65. But it all this is, is all down, boils down to one thing. And it's not me. It's not Brandy. It's not the content. It boils down to you. It's you. It's your choice. It's your decision. If you want to ask me if things can get done, my question is always right back at you. I don't know. Can it? It's not me. We're here seven days a week. We literally have a Discord and a community that's open 24-7. We literally have something where you can ask questions, post questions all the time. We have content that you could view over thousands of hours on every topic you could possibly think of. It's not just the content. We also give you psychology. We give you studying tips. We give you test taking tips. Tips. We give you strategies. We give you ta tactical advice on how to get this thing done. We even will counsel you if you're going through a rough patch and, 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 you know, and help you out. So it's not us. We're putting everything we got. So I know that we're available. I know we have all this stuff. We don't offer just a weekend you know, and say, hey, there's a book that's about like 400 pages drop that on your desk over a weekend and go through it and pass a test on Tuesday. That's a lot. You know what I mean? That seems uh, a little much, you know, God bless the ones that can do that. I personally am not built like Neo from the matrix. I can't download things into my brain that quick. I gotta, I wish, I wish I was that cool, but I'm not, I gotta sit with the material a little bit. I gotta have some quizzes. I gotta, I gotta put the work in. And so do you, most of you are like that. You gotta put the work in. So if you're going to ask me, is it possible to get this thing done in whatever time frame? My question is to you, can it? Can it? I don't know. I don't. The first thing you need to do is you need to open up your calendar and you need to start marking it out. You need to start going through it and start putting the hours that you need to have this thing done. What hours can I get it done? Right? And be realistic. Don't be realistic. If you're a morning and you're not a morning person, you're not a morning person. Okay. Your brain doesn't sh turn on until noon. You're probably not the best person to do the early, early morning. No. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you're the person who's around noon and you have two or three hours in the middle of the day, study, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Do your morning work. Do like your business, do your workouts, whatever you got to do. Start forming your life around your goal. Guys, that's how it's done. If it's not in your calendar, if you have not prioritized it, if you have not made it a thing that you're going to do every day, 
It's simply not going to happen. You will schedule other things in the middle of the way. You will find a reason to do your laundry, even though you hate it. You will find a reason to go walk the dogs, even though you have the kids do it all the time. You will find a reason to tune in to see if Jenny Jones is still on the air. By the um, way, she's not. Reorganize your entire house. You will check to see if the housewives are still doing what they do, right? It doesn't matter. I know we know all that's garbage, right? We know that's garbage. That's not really what we want to do, but we like to avoid things that we have to do. I just had this conversation with my son today. He's in high school. He's like, dude, I'm trying to go through this DMV self-studies course. It sucks. It's so boring. It's so boring. I'm like, well, you have the time. He's like, time's not the problem. I just don't want to do it. I'm like, well, welcome, welcome to being an adult. Welcome to the, the slow road and the journey to being an adult. Let me tell you this, son. Everything that you don't want to do, you probably need to do. Everything you don't want to do is probably what you need to do. Yeah. And that is the bitter pill. So you got to change your mindset and just realize, you know what? I'm going to do it because you know why? Because most people won't. And that's why they are where they're at. That's facts. And I'm not picking on anybody specifically on here because I don't consider any of you those people because you know why? You could have been anywhere else, but you were here tonight. Some of you guys are on at one in the morning. Some of y'all are in the East Coast. Some of y'all are from uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, or maybe NOLA, right? Some of y'all in the Midwest. Some of y'all coming from Alaska. We got people from Hawaii. Right now we have someone in the Philippines tuning in, right? F from the Philippines. You all could have been somewhere else, but you're here for this 30 minutes of free. Because why? Because you want to do this and you got to get this thing in a routine. Now, if you're a member and we have all this course material and you do the studying and you're like, yeah, I did all that work. Guys, still be on this because you're going to learn the little extras. You're going to learn the little bit of psychology. You're going to pick up a studying tip or two. You're going to get some positive mental attitude. You're going to have a day where it just seems like life just strapped you to a whipping post and just had its way with you. You ever had one of those days? You're just like, good Lord. Like, what did I do today to deserve this? You know what I mean? You just had one of them days. We all have one of them days. So it's good to go somewhere where it's going to be positive and you can move forward in something that is positive for you. This is positive for you. And unlike working out, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to feel that sore physically. Mentally, you'll feel a bit like you did yoga, but you're not going to feel physically sore. Brain yoga. It's brain yoga. But you know what? You'll sleep like a baby. That, that, guys, and when you start dreaming about questions and you start dreaming about these keyword connections and stuff. You're on your way. You are on your way. You're on your way to a pass notice. When you start yelling in the middle of the night at three in the morning, wash sales, you're on your way. Just saying. That happened to Brandy. True story. So I'm just letting you know. That's what it takes, though. That's what it takes. And that's where you got to be. So if you're here tonight. And you make this part of your routine because this is part of the routine. This is part of it. And look, you might not take your best notes, but we try to make it fun. We try to make it light. We give you some techniques. We give you a little bit of free content. And at the end of the day, you might learn some stuff. And what, you know, what else is there? And if you stick around ha uh, after it's over, we might answer a few of your studying questions. And you might learn what our favorite A-team characters are. I'm just saying we, we very random afterwards, but we do answer studying questions. That's the, yep. that is the great part of being on here. Again, we make ourselves available, take advantage of it. You just have to prioritize it. Yes. And you know what? You might be that person who said, you know what? I gave it my all Andy. I gave it my all. I gave everything I got. I was Scotty on the enterprise and I gave it all she got captain. And I didn't get the pass notice. Now what? Guess what? You do what Gladys did. You take all your notes, your flashcard, and you dump it in the trash can. You start over. New day, new time. Nothing is going to stop you from your dream. That's what. That's what. Even a, even if I didn't pass, yeah, even if you didn't pass, I don't, I don't give a rip. Are you telling me that if there was a door and someone told me there was a million dollars on the other side of the door, do you think I'm going to stop because it's locked? Heck no. I'm going to go kick the door down. You know what I mean? And that's what you got to do. You got to kick down the door to your dreams, your goals and what you want to achieve in this life because no one's going to give you the key and hand it over and make sure the door's open. So you're just going to have to do it. You're just going to have to do it. And that's what you're going to have to say to yourself. Well, I just, I'm going to have to do this. Just gotta. 
I just going to have to do this because no one else is going to do it except me. And no one else is going to pay for me in this lifetime except me. And no one is going to live a better life than me. That's the self-talk that I talk to myself with all the time. Is it arrogant? Probably. Is it a little bit, a little self-righteous? Absolutely. Because if I can't be that for me, then who else is? No one. And I feel like if I act like that, then you know what? I feel good. I feel good about me and I feel like I can take on anything. And that's exactly what you got to feel like too. So as we go through this weekend, and I always give the speech on the, right before the weekend, because you know what? Distractions happen all the time. And we don't have the studying brew on Friday, but we do want to armor you up because you got to get through this weekend. You got to make sure you make this thing happen because you are the person you need to hold yourself accountable to. A lot of times we have accountability partners, but let's be honest. The only person who's going to slap a Twinkie out of my hand if I'm trying to lose weight is me, right? I'm the one that's going to have to make myself not eat that thing. I'm going to have to make myself go to the gym. I'm going to have to make myself study. I have to, right? Good coach is not going to drag you out of bed and get you onto the field. You're going to have to do that. You know what I always used to say to myself when I didn't want to study? It's never going to go away until I just get it done. Yeah. How long do you want that monkey on your back? How long? So let's make it happen. If you're not a member, it's a great time to start up. It doesn't matter that we already had the academy start and we're starting to three weeks in and you're like, well, I want to start from the beginning. Start from the beginning. We have a 21-day plan. It has literally gotten 1,200 over 1,200 passers with the, the 21 day plan, the self-study, you just download a PDF, you click on links and you just get through the content and just start doing the thing. That's mm -hmm. it. That you want to know how you get past it in a week. That's how you don't wait for any classes. You just do the 21 day plan and make it happen. Yep. You just make it happen. You clear out the deck, you clear off the decks in your calendar and you just make it happen. Right. So we got that and we have the Kona Academy and you can always visit. You can always see if there's a topic that, that you want to be in there and you do like, well, you know what? I do want to see options you know, live. And I want to ask some questions. Guess what? You have that option too. You can do that, but you can still do the 21 day plan at the same time. Yes. Y'all can do that. We are flexible. You have two ways of doing it. One price. You have three different exams. We're giving you for the one price. Check out what we got going on. Scan the QR code, hit the links. We got the study guide available. S I E six sixty three twenty six. We got something for all those. We got the Conan uh, community, the message board. That's free. That's where you can ask questions. It's open over the weekend. Brandy does visit. Uh, we got the Telegram. We got the Instagram. Check us out, 951-290-3077. All this information is in that QR code or scan. Or hit the links in the chat. All right, let's get to it. We got a reminder for tomorrow. We got the Academy uh, starting it off. We got, uh, I feel like it's um, accounts, right? Something about types of accounts. Investment companies. Oh, investment companies. All right, we're at investment companies, like I said. So we're going to do that tomorrow. And then we're going to have an all exam, all members live technique. So literally we have something for every single person's taking a test tomorrow. Tomorrow, Brandy, look, this is one thing. I'm going to get on there. I'm going to kick all your butts in the beginning because we're going to talk about discipline a little bit. No, probably about five minutes. And then Brandy's had enough of that. And then she's going to do her own live quiz. She's going to take a live quiz. Look, there's going to be some quiz questions we're going to go through here tonight. And I know there's some non-believers. Right. They're like, oh, Andy, that's so easy when you go ahead and go get the questions and you just pick them out and you decide that those are the ones you're going to do techniques on. But in, when I take my quizzes, it's nothing like that. I can't make that stuff work. I can't. It's all smoke and mirrors that you guys do. Guess what? Guess what? Brandy's going to do it live and she's going to show you what's up. So we're going to do that tomorrow on that all exam, all members. And it is only an hour. It's 1130 a.m. And then we go till 1230 PM if you're in the Pacific. But if you notice there, I have all time zones listed. We got the mountain, we got the central, we got the East on the screen. So check your local listing. So if you're in Louisiana, I think that's central time, check that out and uh, make a note, be there. Right. Be there. And uh, so, all right, let's get this thing going, Brando. All right. We got the serious six. We're literally going to go over six different exams, six questions. Brandy's going to answer them with some content. We're going to do some techniques. We're going to do strategies for all six of these different exams. We are tying in everything we learned on the studying brew all week. We have, uh, we're have we going to have some keywords. We're going to have some techniques. Guys, watch how she does this. Watch how she goes through these questions on the screen. She is going to attack them by answers first. See how she doesn't, or she first looks and see if there's a technique, and then she applies some content to make sure it's right. Guys, it the biggest thing that people need to get past is trying to force content and overthink. Most of y'all overthink way too much. You probably would have got it right if you just went with your gut. And it is such a it's such an act of fate. Faith. Mm -hmm. If you guys follow that gut. 
but you gotta you gotta listen to it. So tonight we're gonna show you how you do that. And uh let's go, Brandy. Let's go. <laughs> Man, you got the rhythm and the rhyme. That's right. It's been a it's been a week. All right. Close end fund. Yes. Open end fund. Exchange traded funds. Exchange traded notes. Yes. Okay. So a couple of things that come to my mind right away. Okay. Eric said D has no fun. That that's not fun at all. No. Ah. no, I'm just kidding. Um, A and B are opposite of each other. Yes. Uh, C and D are opposite of each other. Are they opposite or just related? Uh, well, I. They're like cousins. Like cousins. Not kissing cousins. This one is like stock related. They're really close. And this one's debt related because of the note, guys. Anytime you guys see the word note, it means debts wonder if anybody looked up to see if Elvis made a movie called Kissing Cousins. Dude, let's not go there. All right. So, but what am I, but what I, I want to, my goodness, I want to look at the differences between A, B and C, D. And I also want to look at the differences between A and B, C and D, right? Mm -hmm. So I know that that was a lot just now, but um, closed end funds and open end funds. This is where some of the content comes into play. These are managed, managed or managed mint investment company that means it takes a management team to to work those funds yeah exactly these are these are managed so there's a yeah like you said there's a whole team right um closed end funds trade publicly and open ends are mutual funds and those are um those are uh, redeemable that's the word i'm looking for redeemable means you can cash those out yes you can just call up your agent and say hey yo I need some money. They're yeah, like three days. All right. Um, now the difference between three and three to five days. Yeah. The difference between A and B, I mean A B and C and D is the fact that these are not managed. Not actively, like not actively managed. These are based on an index. Okay. And we already said the difference between C and D is stock and debt. Okay. So I would, I, I mean, I know this is a stretch, but I would say closed end and open end, it's like the NBA. You know, there's teams, right? You got your teams, you got the Lakers, you got the Pistons. Okay. They, they, do, they require a team to play. Yeah. The the other two, that's a pickup game at the local park. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not really managed, but, you know, you might throw a few people in there, but mainly it's just a, it's a pickup game. Right. There you go. Whoa. Long. Your client, Harry Sw Swenson. He's very frugal. Some people already get in the sweats. He feels like mutual funds have too many expenses, and he doesn't believe that over a long period that ac the active management of investment advisors, blah, 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 blah. But he likes the idea of a pooled investment in the stock market. Okay, so look, guys. First of all, um, too many expenses in mutual funds. Um, so basically he's saying he doesn't want a closed end and open end. Um, he says that he does not believe in active management. So that's actually both of these are out. Okay. And he also wants stock stock. So the answer is ETF. Listen to what the client's saying. This is like perfectly almost like suitability. Yeah, this is <clears throat> him. This is a suitability question. Stop looking at what you know about each thing and let's start listening to what they're saying. What are they saying? What are they saying? And then mark off the things it's not. Guys, process of, el of elimination should be your best friend when it comes to these things. Knock off two right away. Usually you can knock off at least two right away. Yeah, and you're down to a 50-50. There you go. And then it's usually one connection in the question. That's it. That's it. All right. What? <laughs> <laughs> numbers okay by the way that pickup game analogy worked out because there's no expenses like it is in the nba when you do that right no no we, we good all right so this is very low 3.5 is very very low 43.5 is highest then we have a 0.5 and we have a whole number and then i want you guys to note this one is kind of like in the middle and that one is lower and that one is higher does that make sense? Yeah, 40 and 3, 36.5. Yeah. yeah. And if you guys look, this is 
plus 3.5 and this is minus 3.5 oh yeah what i don't know why but i feel like this is an option probably you guys are probably good like yeah the brandy of course you know yeah <laughs> people are already sweating out yeah. of their shorts all right a june 40 call call means up or down uh up. call up okay. for this call to be trading at parity the underlying stock parity means i'm on par i'm going up so i need to add again just listening to what it's saying we have a saying around here, trust in the arrow. Trust. In the arrow we trust. The arrow. The arrow tells Literally, if, I, if you're doing the exam and you should do this and you're doing your quizzes, guys, if you're not drawing this stuff out just like that with the arrow going up, you're missing out. It makes it so much harder to keep it straight in your head. Guys, there's a lot of stuff going. There's a lot of things happening in your head, especially during a test. Yep. Are the kids okay? Did they get enough water? You know, those what, kinds of things. What's my husband doing with the kids? Is there cartoons on? I hope. <laughs> Did they okay. feed him? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I forgot to thaw out the meatloaf. Right. Do people do that? No, no one freezes meatloaf. You're oh, weird. No, sorry. I, I don't know. Vegan. <laughs> what do you know? Stick to your broccoli. Yes. Corporations. Mutual yeah. funds, closed-end funds, unit investment trust. So check this out. Mutual funds and closed-end funds. We got the funds going on again, right? Fun, fun, fun. Corporations, they sell stock. Yep. We hear about it all the time in the news, right? Right. Um, some of you may or may not be familiar with unit investment trust, so I'm just going to kind of hunt it just in case. Right? Now, just to go a little bit further, right, guys, there's a whole string of words that we use to describe mutual funds. Dun, da, 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 Right? And then our closed-end funds are, like, pretty much opposite. Dun, da, 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 Right? And I could go through this big old long list of things that I know about mutual funds or closed end funds. But at and the you end remembered day, it's a timed exam. Exactly. So in this point, I'm pretty much sure that the answer is B or C. Right. They just have fun. So I'm going to look at the question. Right. I'm going to look at the question that says, which of the following allows investors to pur purchase partial shares in a primary offering? So I could recall it or I can go, okay. Uh, mutual funds is always new. Let me see. See if I can remember off my hand, off the top of my head. Always new, redeemable, common stock only, full and fractional. Fractional, fractional, partial. Partial. Okay. Let me just double check real quick. Close end funds, common stock or first stock, full only because they trade in the secondary. Boom. The answer is B. Notice, guys, I didn't write it out, but I closed my eyes. I ran through my dun 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 Oh yeah, that full only thing was on the right side. Brandy always teaches close end stuff on the right side. Boom, connection made. Exactly. Got to go through it really a lot, a lot faster than you think when you do that. It best, especially if you read the answers first. If you guys go question first, you're gonna read that question at least five times, and then you're gonna look over the answers, and then it's it's a mess. Yes, exactly. Da, 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 da. 10 years, 180 days, two years, You're five really years. number heavy this time. Yeah, I know. Because you know why? Why? People freak out about them. Numbers do make people do the freak out. Yeah. 10 years, this is if you were bad. Like yeah. that that whole felony. Yeah, that seems super bad. Misdemeanor thing, right? Um, 180 days is six months, or I like to call it the wait. By the way, guys, can I just take a side note here? That if you're, it's in 180 days and you automatically know it's six months, you either did time or you've done the six month wait. Yes. And, and here's what I want to say, guys. So many people come to us and say, I'm on my last attempt. Oh, yeah. When they get that third attempt. I'm on my last attempt. Guys, it's just called a wait. It's not called you're done. Yeah. it People, it sounds like they're dying. This is my last chance for life. Bro. Really? It's just your third attempt. Calm down. Relax. I say that on purpose, guys. Because I promise you, your bills will come the next day. <laughs> take, you got to take the pressure off. I promise you, the IRS won't see yeah. it as your last day. B is days, right? Everything else is years. Two years, um, I know as um, accessible, like communication stuff has to be accessible. 
and just co going with the U4 theme of the bad stuff, 10 years felony thing. Um, I know two years is, I was going to write two again, is a uh, jurisdiction. FINRA can catch up. Five years is um, keeping, is keeping um, SARS. Yeah. And CTRs. Cause I always write those. Down. Okay. Those are associations. When I see five years, I think those things. When I see two years, I think those, right? I just associate, do, 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 okay? Keyword associations, like peanut butter and jelly, yeah. baby. Don't know why. It Who just cares? is. I don't know why it's peanut butter and jelly. It just is. Well, sometimes I like peanut butter and banana. Well, you just shut up. Remember, it's peanut butter and jelly in the situation. You're trying to pass an exam. That's an exception. Exactly. <laughs> registration no, i'm just kidding how long do security regulators retain jurisdiction jurisdiction now some of you guys might think man that's a lot of work you do in the answers to get to that question yeah but look how easy the question is right look how guys i was the person that used to read these things five times before i could even start to answer the question I was basically taking the test three times in the test because each question was minimum three questions, three, three read throughs, everything. And then I start thinking. Right. Answers Don't do first. that. Answers no. first. If you're not doing answers first, cause you're like, it's so hard. I've been doing this way for so many years. Guys, stop. Hey, join the Kona club of the answers first. Exactly. Get a new pair of pants, get a new way of test. It's my new saying. <laughs> All right, guys. If you guys were paying attention to episode 887 of the Studying Brew, and we talked about bonds in our free content Wednesday, you guys know that these are bond grades. Yes, they are. And you know how we talked about, oh my gosh, what was the, what was the saying? I don't know, something moody. Moody is moody. So they can't, or it was like they couldn't decide if they wanted to go capital and lowercase. Something like that, right? I don't know. Finch had an itch. <laughs> Something like that. So they copied the S and P. Yes. Um, I think I took a picture of it. So um, so we got all caps, right? We got all caps. But if you guys remember, you know what? I'm just gonna write it out. I remembered that it was all caps down to you know the triple B, all caps, and then there was that whole thing that was lower, right? And then the other one was the one where they couldn't decide, and then it was like bah. Right? You guys remember that? And I think I even said it like that. Yeah, you did. Bah. That helps. So guess what, guys? And remember I told you guys the capital and the lowercase thing mattered. Yeah. Right? So let's look at what's going on. This is all capital, but that doesn't match that. No. Not an answer. Okay. And then here's capital and lowercase. Doesn't match what I just wrote in blue. Not that. Get out of here. Right? And then I don't know about your grading system, but B never came before A. This has an A, an A, a B, and a B. Doesn't this make more sense? Like the letters are in order? Yes. These are in order. This is not order. Am I right? Yes. Check it out. Boom. Which of the following credit ratings, let me get to that, um, are placed in order from highest to lowest? How about the one that looks like that? Because we said it's in order. And if you were doing the techniques, guess what? You probably would have got that without even looking at the question. Yes. Yes. It's just basic common sense. That we tend to overlook because we're studying this crazy, complicated new world, new language that it's been presented to you guys in an overcomplicated way. That we tend to not think, oh, yeah, that makes sense. I got this 486 page book for, you know, for a reason. It must be complicated. Like, no. Literally treat it like it's a brand new, like everything. Sometimes people just get paid by the pages they write. That's Doesn't right. mean that you needed them all. That's right. All right. Last question. Okay, guys, ready? I have 3,200. I have cannot be determined. I have 9615. And then I have 96. Well, if you C just, is very specific. <laughs> if you multiply, right? If you multiply that times two, you get that. Yeah. Okay. 
Wait, times two? No, times three. Stop it. Do your math. I did signs today too, signs and cosines. Thank you. Thank you, math teacher. Right? That's times three. Yes. Check out how simple this is going to be. Boom. Right? Here's my quote. I got a quote of 32 and a quote of 3205. Mm -hmm. I want to sell 300 shares. Right. Right? This is lower than three. The answer is that. Uh, right guys were you sleeping well, that's easy now i could tell you guys you know i always you i could do the math and there's some of you that are already figuring out the math and you're like it's a bit in the ass and they're mumbling to themselves and they're trying to do the math look this is a timed exam if there's a quick way of seeing this stuff and just getting the answer moving on and getting it right then do that mm -mm -mm. that's the connections that was the connections, right? The investor is selling. So the investor is selling. So we're going to do the 32, not the 3205. So we're looking at that number and we're just going to multiply times three. Okay. Boom. Both content and techniques. Boom. That's it. Don't make it more difficult than it has to be. So guys, when you're our Kona members in our live session, like we're going to have tomorrow, I do both. I do both. We literally go over the technique, get the hunch, answer it with content. Boom. So if you're still sticking on to that math and you can't see how easy that was, but just looking at going, that's lower and going with it. Guess what? We got the math part easy and you could do that that way too. Yeah, either way. But I'm going to say this, guys, just got to remember, it's a timed exam. And if you're taking the 63, there's more questions than time. That's a fact. So time is of the essence. And then people always ask, they're like, well, how do I get through this exam? I don't know if I'm going to have a right time. And then some people get stuck on, we, we had this one dude, he like, he was like, if I, I calculated that, it, it, you know, I have to have a question done in every 45 seconds to one minute and 47 seconds. Yeah. And one minute. Set a timer, guys. He timed himself a minute, 47 seconds every time. And we're like, well, what about the ones you do only like two seconds on? Don't you bank time on that? Well, yeah. And well, doesn't it average out? I guess. So why are you doing that? I don't know. You have too much. You're overthinking it. And you're stressing yourself out. Stop stressing. Follow some techniques. If you got an easy layup with the content, then mark the dang question. Just do it. Mark it. Move on. If you're stuck on one because you see numbers and it makes you have the sweats, do the technique. Work it out a little bit, and it probably isn't that bad. Nah, man. I'm going to tell you this, guys. None of these are in math exams, so no. don't make it one. And those of you studying for the 65 and 66, it seems like it's a math test. It really isn't. The quizzes are the math test. <laughs> what was her name? Farouz. Yes. She was so mad. She worked on it for months on the math. And she's like, I had the math formulas memorized. And I got zero math questions on the exam. <laughs> she said she picked she up the so calculator mad. once and she goes. I didn't need that. She goes, that was because I overthought it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. I, I yeah. felt like she picked it up just because. All right, everybody. That does it. We don't have the studying brew tomorrow night. We got live sessions tomorrow for all you members. We'll be back for the studying brew back on Monday. But until then, everybody, stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. That's all I know. Keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you guys so much for being on. We super appreciate you guys. Add the techniques to your quizzes. Don't forget to take the quiz tonight and through the weekend. We will see you guys next time. Have a great one.